Good morning. Today we'll be discussing rachuronium bromide, otherwise known as Zemuron. This discussion is a culmination project for pharmacology for United States Army graduate program in anesthesia nursing. The typical concentration is 10 milligrams per milliliter for IV induction. Rachuronium mechanism of action it is a competitive antagonist at the nicotinic M acetylcholine receptors located at the neuromuscular junctions. Rachuronium works by preventing depolarization by acetylcholine causing subsequent skeletal muscle paralysis. Rachuronium competes with acetylcholine for receptor sites on the postsynaptic membrane. It has a weak block of cardiac muscarinic acetylcholine receptors which can cause a slight vagolytic effect. Please note that I'm mousing over the rocuronium molecules. Down here is the nicotinic M receptor. So rocuronium is going to work by binding to one of the nicotinic M receptor sites. Unlike acetylcholine, which requires two, Rocuronium only needs to bind to one, like so. Notice it's not depolarizing and opening. It's actually competing with the acetylcholine for that receptor site. This is, in essence, a competition between the acetylcholine and the rocuronium, and therefore a competitive antagonism occurs. Please note that it takes two molecules of acetylcholine to activate the channel and only one molecule of rocuronium to block the mechanism from occurring. Unlike a depolarizing agent, rocuronium is characterized by fade to responsive train of four of simulation dosing. Paralyzing doses of rocuronium should only be given after giving other induction agents like propofol and after determining that the patient is induced and the provider is able to mask ventilate the patient, unless of course one is doing a rapid sequence intubation. The IV ED95 of rocuronium is 0 0.305, so a standard intubating dose would be two times this amount, or 0 0.6. A rapid sequence intubation dose would be two to four times the ED95, or 0 0.6 to 1.2 milligrams per kilogram. One must consider that with the higher doses, there will be prolongation of duration. Maintenance infusions range from 0.5 to 16 micrograms per kilogram per minute. Onset of the drug is variable and can range from 45 seconds to over 3 minutes. There is no specific peak as it relies on the amount of the drug the patient is given. The T half alpha of rocuronium is the redistribution half-life, so that is how long it takes half of the drug to redistribute through the, out the body. So in essence, the longer it takes, the less lipid soluble is the drug. The average low end is 15 minutes. T half beta is elimination half-life. This means that it is how long it takes half of the drug to leave the body. Normal is 90 minutes with end-stage renal disease. It is 1.5 to 3.5 hours. The body mainly eliminates this drug unchanged in bile and urine. Rocuronium is one of the few non-depolarizing muscle blockers that has no metabolites. It has less than 10% excreted renally and greater than 70% excreted in bile. This means that mainly it is eliminated in the liver. Rocuronium primarily has its market share related to its rapid onset time of an average 60 to 120 seconds, which is the fastest for the non-depolarizing drugs. It also has no histamine release as well, which is another reason why it is selected for use. Its intermediate duration of action works well for most current anesthetic case durations. Anesthetic contraindications and concerns for the use of this drug include inability to mask ventilate patient prior to administration in a non-emergent situation. Use with caution in patients with hepatic failure due to the primary mechanism for elimination being through the liver. Also, elderly patients will need lower doses. While there is a slight vagolytic effect, it is not significant, so monitor cardiac cases closely for any signs of negative response. Some external links for your viewing pleasure include excellent intubating conditions with thrombifentanyl propofol and either low-dose rachuronium or succinylcholine, is the rapid sequence induction possible with 0.6 mg per kilogram of rocuronium in the pediatric patient? And effective age on ED50 of rocuronium for intratracheal intubation in female patients. The references for this project include 
Calvi and Williams, Principles and Practice of Pharmacology for Anesthetists, Chu and Fuller's Manual of Clinical Anesthesia, 2012, Evers, Karash, and Mays, 2011, Anesthetic Pharmacology, Katzung's, 2009, Basic and Clinical Pharmacology, and Miller's, 2005's, Miller's Anesthesia, 6th edition. Thank you for watching my video on Rocuronium. I hope you have a great day.